This is Dr. Phil Chavez. At the main altar of Mary Major Basilica lie the remains of St. Matthew, or St. Matthias. He was the apostle chosen, the 13th apostle chosen, after the death of Judas by the other apostles. Now below that altar, in this confession area, in a golden casket walled in glass, are relics of four to five sycamore wood fragments of a manger alleged to be the first crib of the Savior. You can descend down here and actually get a close vision of it. Now, after the Council of Ephesus, when the divine maternity of Mary was declared in 431, the following year of Pope Sixtus III, he built a chapel inside Mary Major that would reproduce a cave of the Nativity. For this reason, this basilica was actually called for centuries St. Mary of the Major. Later, actual fragments of the manger here were donated to the, by the Patriarch of Jerusalem, named St. Sophronius II, Pope Theodore I, sometime during his pontificate from 642 to 649. Now the relics of this cradle were initially laid there at that site of the cave, but then they were transferred right to below this confession area and have stayed here on permanent public display. Actually, these relics are put on procession on Christmas Day itself. Now interesting, there is a nativity scene here in this basilica sculpted by Arnolfo de Cambio in 1291. It was commissioned by Pope Nicholas IV of Franciscan less than 70 years after St. Francis himself staged the first crash scene in Greccio, Italy. That artwork is considered the oldest sculptured nativity scene in the world. Again, it's housed here in the Basilica. God be with you.